Hi everyone, my name is Kelsey and I'm going to be taking you through this short uh, approximately 20 minute yin yoga sequence for hips and the reason that I'm doing a you know sequence for hips is that I have had a lot of chronic hip pain over the years, I have a lot of chronic pain in general, uh, but hip pain has been one of the, the things that I've dealt with um, from autoimmune, from fibromyalgia, from injury, so just a lot of things. And I, when I started practicing yoga, I really did a lot of focus on the hips. And even recently, my physiotherapist was like, you should really do a lot of more hip opening yoga um, again. So it's always been kind of consistently part of my routine. I recently became, uh, just finished my yoga teacher training. So I thought I'd start off uh, online with this short sequence. And without further ado, let's get started. So what I'm gonna get you to do is I'm just gonna invite you to sit in a butterfly position. So the soles of your feet together, just dropping your knees as low as they go. As you can see, mine don't necessarily go that low. And you can just hold on to your ankles or feet, wherever, rest your hands wherever you would like. If you would like to make this easier for yourself, you could also put blocks underneath your knees. I know that when I first started practicing, I really had to do that in order to um, be able to do some of the hip opening uh, poses. So that is an option for you. And what we're gonna do is just start with a short seated meditation. So I invite you to either close your eyes or soften your gaze. Make sure your spine is nice and straight, untucking the pelvis from under you. And just start to notice the breath. See if you can pay attention to the full lengths of your inhales, the full lengths of your exhales, while in this gentle hip opening pose. if your mind wanders at all. See if you can unhook from any thoughts or judgments. Just return to your breath, noticing the simple sensations of breathing. If your breath isn't a good anchor for you right now, then noticing any body sensation, maybe that's just the feeling of sitting on the floor. This is your practice, so you have the option here to notice what you'd like to notice. Just breathing naturally, not changing anything about what we're doing, just noticing our experience. In yin yoga, we typically hold poses between three and five minutes. So as kind of a beginner practice, we'll just be holding them for three minutes today. Of course, if you need to come out of any pose early, feel free to do that. Make sure that you're honoring your body, giving it what it needs. If you can just let your breath be natural throughout the practice. Being aware if it changes at all for you. Sometimes that's an indicator of going too deep into a pose. So just paying attention to what's happening in your body, and what's happening in your mind. And when you're ready, just open your eyes. And we're gonna come first into happy baby pose. So just laying down on your back. We're going to bring the feet into the air, pointed towards the ceiling. And you can hang on to your ankles, your uh, big toes with your peace fingers, your front feet, whatever feels best for you. If you can't even go this far into the pose, that is also okay. You can just 
hold your knees open more like this so really taking the position that is best for you here sometimes it feels good to rock back and forth just to settle in but with yin we want to find some stillness and you're really using your elbows to press your knees open here your eyes or soften your gaze in any pose if you'd like. It's really important and happy baby to make sure your back is flat to the mat. So no curving, no rolling up. And just soaring as deep as you can today. your time with transitions release your feet back down to the mat from here we're going to come into reclined pigeon pose so you're going to cross your right ankle over your left knee and you're going to make sure that you're flexing your toes to really protect your knee and you can either stay here just pressing the right knee away from your body or if you'd like to go a bit deeper you can pull your left leg in uh, in towards you either holding on to the yeah, left thigh, left shin, whatever feels best for you. You should really notice this in the outer hip and glute. And again, finding stillness in the mind and body.
release the left leg back to the mat, uncross the right leg, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. So crossing left ankle over right knee, flexing those left toes and pressing the left knee away from your body. Again, you can hold here or draw the right leg in towards you, holding on to the shin or thigh, whatever works best. Finding some stillness. Maybe notice that each side feels different and that's okay, it's completely normal. Often one side is a bit tighter than the other. For me, my left side's always tighter. It's also the side that's had the injury, so. And even now, you know, I've had a, a surgery and there's some scar tissue buildup. So my left side's always a little bit tougher for me than my right, which is really important that we work both sides. you're ready, release the right leg back to the mat and uncross the leg. From here, we're just going to come into reclined butterfly. So like at the beginning, we have the soles of our feet together, but this time we're just laying back on the mat, letting your knees drop open. Again, feel free to use a block underneath the knees. I had to do it all the time when I first started. My hips were very tight, couldn't open very much. Uh, even now, I can go without a block, but as you can see, there's lots of space between my knees and the floor, so really making sure you're not judging your practice. Right? Your hips are what they are right now. Sometimes it changes day to day, sometimes depending on the time of day. And you know what? Sometimes, based on your illness or injury, your hips just might be doing what they're doing. You can leave your hands at your side, or if you'd like to open up your chest a little bit, find that putting them overhead, almost looking like a little bit of a figure eight, can be quite helpful and feel really good. And then again, just letting your body relax into the pose as much as possible.
your arms or overhead. You can sweep them back down to your sides and just use your hands to press your knees back together. From here, we're going to be coming into a supportive bridge pose. So if you have a block or if you don't have a block, a bolster, a cushion, anything like that nearby, you're just going to want to use that. So we're just going to lift the pelvis off the ground and just slide it underneath. I'm going to put it on its second setting, but you can also just put it on its first, whatever feels best for you. Just underneath the sacrum, making sure that the low back is supported. We don't want to injure that accidentally here. And feet flat on the floor. Just allowing the pelvis to be a bit higher and the hips to be a bit higher than the heart. Again, hands at your sides, what we find here. Allowing yourself to rest. A bit of a counter stretch here. Last one was a pretty intense hip opener. At least I find the recline butterfly to be quite intense. So I like to follow it up with a nice supported bridge. When you're ready, just lift your pelvis up off the block or cushion, remove it, and then slowly, inch by inch, just roll your body down. It might feel good to take a few windshield wipers, dropping your knees from side to side, or just going not knee for a moment or two. So if you're going not knee, your, hand, your feet will be towards the outer edges of your mat, and your knees will just drop in together. Again, just doing any movement, a little counter stretching here that feels good. And then when you're ready, just finding Shavasana, stretching your legs out long, letting your ankles roll open, taking up space with your arms and legs, palms facing up towards the ceiling. Finding that stillness in your body and mind. Perhaps just noticing your natural breath once again. So we allow the practice to integrate within our bodies.
start to deepen your breath as we slowly wake the body up, perhaps wiggling fingers and toes, turning your neck from side to side, any movements that feel good. Sometimes I like to take a big stretch. Again, just honoring what your body needs right now, rolling over onto one side into fetal position, resting your head and your arm. Taking a few breaths here. And pushing yourself back up to a seated position, taking any seat that's comfortable for your body right now. When you're ready, bring your hands to heart center. Just thank yourself for doing this hip opening practice and taking time to care and honor your body today. The light in me shines the light in you. Namaste.